I grew up being told I was too black. I was ugly, I would never be anything. I'd go to school and they'd ask me where these bruises came from only to lie. And I suppressed all these feelings. I had no outlet to turn to. And this resided in me as I grew into an adult. Things in life started getting a little bit better. I graduated university and had a beautiful daughter. I really thought at this moment that this four-year-old girl no longer resides in me. And then boom. I was in a seven car accident, unconscious at the scene, laid over on the steering wheel. I was rushed in the ambulance to the emergency room. And as soon as I opened my eyes, that four year old little girl came back in full force. I felt pain in every part of my body. I did three years of rehab. And with the little bit of energy that I had left inside me, I, I said, I'm not gonna be this four year old little girl no more. I got up and I lost 75 pounds in five months. A month later, I became a certified trainer on the quest to help anybody going through anything that I've ever experienced. And just when that happened and everything started to get good and I was making good money, I was fired from my job. And that same week, I had an eviction notice on my door. Being a single mother with a four-year-old daughter, I had no clue what I was going to do, but I was a certified personal trainer, which meant I'm still employed somehow. So I went to the only place available to me, which is the stairwells. I chained in the, <laughs> the stairwells at Jane and Finch. And there was dead rats and condom wrappers and needles. And I'd clean it up every morning. I stood strong, proud of my little gym. And I had five clients at the time. And, and I opened my own fitness studio. It's been open for two and a half months and I trained over 80 clients. I started my own meal prep company. My clients weren't sticking to their meal plans and they struggled. So I started cooking their meal plans for free for some of them and then that turned into a business on its own and now I cater to over 100 people on my meal prep company. You could do anything that you set your heart to. No matter what it is, do not let anybody tell you, you can't do it. Nothing's gonna hold me back. I will not stop because people need me. They need my help to be transformed. And if you guys are going through anything, no matter what you've experienced in your life, don't allow that to dictate how your future will go. You hold your head high. You have a dream. You go full force. You block out everybody else and you go straight for your dream. And when you reach there, you set another dream and you just keep going. God gave us gifts. And once you find your gift, it's your duty to reach out to somebody and help them find their gifts as well.